Welcome back everyone, CUBE's live coverage here in San Francisco, California, Google Next 2023. This is CUBE's team coverage. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE with Rob Streche, Dustin Kirkland, CUBE contributor analyst, as well as Lisa Martin is here. We've got four hosts, team coverage. We get the blogging, we got the stories, we got the videos. We're getting all the data and sharing it to you so you can plug it into your AI. Right, Rob? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Our next guest has got a great solution. We're going to get into some of the, the features of how AI is helping from many levels, from a personal level, but also making productivity and getting the word out. Marco Costa, CEO Exclaimer, is here. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you for having me. So we all have emails, and I have a signature I haven't changed in like eight years. And I think my Google phone number's on there. They discontinued that product. <laughs> so, so I got to get to my email signature. This is what you guys do, but it's all more than that. Explain what you guys do. Love of this, course, love this of product. Course. First, you definitely need to change your signature or get <laughs> someone to do it for you. <laughs> so um, Exclaimer, uh, we are um, basically an add-on to Google Workspace. Uh, uh, we, we centrally manage the signatures. So those emails, and we all send like 40 emails a day, so it's a lot of email going on, they'll go with a signature, either the right or the wrong one. It's on us to decide what we do with it. So Exclaimer, we are focused on centrally manage the real state of the signature. What this means is we allow marketing to go there and decide, okay, I'm sending a specific message to a specific cohort of people. I'm inviting people to come to Google Next, next week. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting a new product. I'm promoting a new webinar. So take that real estate and we open it as a platform and make the email a bit better. So we all see emails that have like, you know, things and this is disclaimer, that, you know, what we say is not publicly, you know, a lot of legalese, and you see that a lot. Yeah. But this is kind of what the concept is for other things, right? That's kind of what you're going with here, right? Yeah, we, it is, and uh, you go back to the personas we serve, or the use cases we serve. One, outside is compliance. Absolutely, you need to have a disclaimer. Emails are binding you and your organization, so the disclaimer should be there. As the brand, uh, the brand needs to be consistent. It needs to go the right brand. Uh, so we serve all those use cases. So how does this, I mean, how often? Do you have best practices for marketers? How often they should change you know, the signature? Like, like you said, hey, this week, is it, to your point, is it they select which personas? Like, hey, I have our sales organization in here and I want their, their email signature to include this because we are at Google Next yep. this week. Is that how you suggest it to them? Yes, it is. So, by the way, we have 60,000 companies using our wow. platform uh, every day. So, tens of billions of emails we touch. So, we kind of know what's working and what's not working in terms of the impact of those signatures. So, it depends on the industry, depends uh, on what you want to achieve, but absolutely, there's events you need to promote. Uh, there's products you need to promote, but you need to promote them to the right people. Not everybody will be here uh, at Google Next. Uh, not everybody is willing to buy any product. Some, some customers are just like complaining to you, so don't try to sell them something, send them some information. So that level of customization and choosing the right moments to change the signature, signature should be live. It's not something just, it's there. It should be live and should be adapted to the, the, the context and, the, and the, the, the recipient. That's a great question, Rob. I was going to ask the same thing. Um, take us one level deeper. Okay. What is the workflow? How do I install it? Um, how do I use it? Am I saying globally changing signatures for my employees, or is it a personal thing? How does an ad, I mean, take me through like yeah. the day in the life of usability. 100%. As a proper SaaS business and a SaaS platform, it has to be super simple to adopt. In our case, uh, if you want to buy Exclaimer, you go on our site, there's a trial, you, have, you test it for 30 days. You can actually, in 30 minutes, you're up and running. You select um, your Google credentials, you authorize us to have access to it, and out of a sudden, you see all your employees in the platform. And you can decide, okay, uh, I have all these groups of people, I want to make this specific template for this specific group, deploy, off you go, that's it. That, as simple as that. So you are up and running in a couple of hours, not weeks, not months. Then you can uh, authorize some, some people within the organization to actually run with the product. You can go back to marketing, you have approval to decide what goes into the banner. A lot of power. Or, you, uh, there's a lot of power to market. <laughs> a lot of power. <laughs> they deserve it, so they deserve it. Uh, but you can also give some power yeah. to your employees. You're going to say, you know what, you can choose your pronouns. You go to our platform and you can say, I want to be, I'm Marco, I wanna I'm, I'm an engineer, I want to make sure people know I'm an engineer. 
uh, or uh, I want to be, um, this is my pronoun, please go and change it. Or I want to have my phone number or not. You can decide what level of customization uh, you will get your employees to, to, to have. So the big, the big news obviously is all around AI here. Yes. How does that play into what you're doing with the signatures? So the, that's, that's another great question. And for us, we've been using AI uh, more on our internal information, looking okay. at the trends, looking at the best practices, how people should use the, should use the signatures. We have 60,000 customers. A lot of those customers are on the same industries. We know what's working and what's not working. So we can go back to the customers, you know what? 80% uh, of your players on the industry are changing their signatures right now. Why are you not? Why are you not taking advantage of this specific opportunity? And we know that information and we use AI to detect those things that work and the moments where they should be uh, acted upon. Th does it also have like click-through rates and stuff like that if they have a, sig like, uh, a link in the signature? Or how, how do you help them, to your point, yeah. understand how productive it is? I yeah, guess. so I'll, I'll not call that AI, I'll call that analytics, Yeah, but yeah. we do yeah. have that. Yeah. So uh, we do have all of the analytics when people come back and say, okay, this is a banner to go to this event. If they click, we actually yeah. not only know the click through, but we know, okay, the people that clicked was on the recipients on this email, so yeah. we know the group or the person actually click on that button and we make it available back uh, to marketing, which is, by the way, true for click through rates on banners, it's true yeah. for uh, links on calendar, you can have your agenda over there, you can actually ask people, uh, ask feedback to your customers, do surveys all with a single click that we track and report back. I can see how this would be great for a business to have a coherent message that people can put on their uh, their emails, like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we're the AI cloud, or hey, we're the extracting the signal from the noise, the cube, and and leader in tech coverage, or hey, subscribe to our podcast yeah. as a company podcast. I understand exactly. These are the kinds of things that are kind of light promotional, but also maybe relevant to communicate. Or hey, we're at Google Next. Um, come That's check right. out our feed. Yeah. I can see people being like, you know what? I don't want the company's dogma on my email. Like I, I want to. I don't want yeah. that on. I don't want that company. Can I opt out as a user and and take it off, or um, is that like not in the system? <laughs> so here's the thing. First, we are a very secure organization. Uh, we are GDPR compliant. Yeah. Uh, we are SOC 2 type 2 compliant. Okay. We are IPA compliant. So it, it just depends on the industry. We have all the right certifications yeah. to make sure your data is safe with us. That's something we don't do. We don't look into the content of the email. Yeah, we, 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 our commitment with our customer is we don't touch the email. We have two, deploy in, two deployment mechanisms. One is server side, again, server side from the old times, yeah. uh, which is, is on the cloud, and email goes through us, we can print the signature and turn it back, or it could be client side, where the customer actually sees the signature and we don't even get to see the email. We still get the, the analytics and the click-through rates, that thing we, we get, but we don't even touch uh, the, the email on the server side. How, how have you seen the growth with workspaces over the years? I mean, again, you're partnered with them. It, it, it has to be just exploding with, when we were talking about how our kids will never know, you know, yeah. Microsoft Exchange as it was and were one Amen. of these <laughs> client-based for the most part, because they've grown up in workspaces yeah. from an educational perspective. How have you seen the growth? It's just magical. Uh, look, I've been around for a long time and we've seen the promise of AI in the 90s and it's finally happening, really happening. And it's just unbelievable to see uh, how productive you can be with all those tools that can assist you. They don't replace you, but they assist you. They make you do uh, a better job uh, as, a, as, 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 a, as a professional. And uh, I'm with you there. This is just changing, though. It's just changing the way it works. Well, what I think a lot, and I go back to my customers, is, okay, that's awesome. That's all happening, it's all there. Are you ready? Yeah. And my, my big question is, are you ready? Are, are you truly embarking, just making sure that everybody, all your team is using AI? Um, you, you are not in the cloud yet. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, you probably should get to the cloud first. Your yeah. data is not on the cloud. And so believe it or not, there's still a long tail of customers that still, still have to build some foundations before they get it. New companies, 100%. Our, yeah. our, our kids will never see the old world. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's, Marco, it's tell us about uh, your vision on how you see AI and Duet and these cool tools coming yeah. in. Because Duet's demo yesterday, we've been Amazing. talking about it all day yesterday and just this morning. 
it crosses, that demo we saw crosses multiple apps yep. across with first party data. Really interesting, and then actually taking action. That's legit next level AI. How do you see your product uh, being infused with AI? Is there, is there more uh, recommendations? You maybe put this in there. How does, does it, do you, what, do you, what do you help the customer do more with more productivity with uh, AI? Yeah. What's your vision? 100%, I would say today, Full, full disclosure, 80%, 90% of the value that our customers take from our product is because there's a problem they need to fix. Uh, there's a lot of manual work that still goes there, needs to be fixed. There's a missing opportunity of connecting, uh, the, taking advantage of the email, that's not being uh, handled. That's number one. When you look at how do we elevate that to your, to your question, Recommendations, 100%. What's working and what's not working, and when should you act on it, when should you change, uh, that's number one. Trends, we see a lot of information. We see when, when, when people click through. Uh, we, we can see and decide, you know what, this kind of campaign is not right for this recipient. He's the CEO of the company, you should not send him a product information, he doesn't care. Send him some executive information that he, that he cares about. And all these learnings and all this can be brought back to how you actually deploy the, the, the signature. Uh, we, we then plug this in with the amazing work that Google is doing, we do it. I mean, you look at uh, all those uh, writing an email, it's because they are looking at the email and they're looking at the content and they are preparing an answer. So we can piggyback on that to make sure we bring that context into the real state of the signature. And real-time data injection. So for like example, I mean, Rob, for us, yeah. you know, just my mind just starts racing. It's like, hey, I could put top stories on SiliconANGLE. You can. In there, oh, so feeding into the signature, is that something you guys are seeing uh, possibly kind of um, real time streaming of data? It is, and that's something we <laughs> are about to, to, to. Put that on the list? Uh, no, we are about to, to It's on your release. roadmap. You're going to yeah. release, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, yeah. 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 Look at go. he's got the uh, smirk in, in there. He's this little <laughs> free release here, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Cube, we're getting all the data, extracting that, cool. So what's the, what's the, what's the message to your customers about the company? Uh, what's your North star, yep. uh, what's, the, what's the mission, what, why do you guys exist, what's the purpose? Uh, uh, look, our purpose is to amplify those emails. So those poor professional emails, those ones that you, I'm sending to you or I'm sending to you, they'll be read. They'll go on the right side, on the focus side of the mail client. You know, the mail client. Take advantage of those emails. Protect your brand, uh, protect your business by putting the right disclaimers, but empower your marketing team to take advantage of that. Talk about productivity, uh, make sure that the right teams have the right information and the right links on the signature. Again, sales teams, they should have the link to the calendar. Out, out there, it's not an option, should be there to promote productivity. Our, our, our ambition, our vision, our, our, our commitment to our customers is keep working to making sure their email is just better, is amplified. Uh, we, they take the most value they can from those emails. Marco, what do you think about the show here? Obviously, um, Google showing some good Developer mojo with AI. They got the solutions. They got the ecosystem developing. What do you think of the show? And then, what are some of the conversations you're having here at the show? It's it's twofold. I would say one is amazing. The vision where we go with Google, amazing. The, the, the AI uh, injecting AI, everything. It's it's not a trend anymore. It's a, it's happening. It's just happening. Uh, uh, and a lot of people that comes to our booth, they say, oh oh, but you have a a real problem we can fix right now. And so, I want to go to AI, but probably I need to fix this first. And so, uh, <laughs> people is excited about all the potential of productivity, and they are going in that direction, and that, that's, that's exciting. We talk to partners, existing and new partners, which is amazing, but people also go back and say, you know what, I have some foundational work to do. Could it be cloud? Could it be working with you guys to get the signatures right? Could it be, uh, I mean, moving my data? Yeah. But um, there's this tool, tool discussion around fundamentals and the ambition of the AI at large scale. How, how has, we've, we've been talking about this, well I was going to say all week, for two days now. Uh, how has Google been to work with as a partner and kind of, we're looking at their ecosystem and how they're bringing people, it seems like there's more ecosystem at this one than there has been in the past. I totally see there's been an investment from Google in uh, supporting better their partners. We've been discussing with the Google teams here at the conference as well, stuff we wish we could have, we wish we could be allowed to, to be transactable uh, on, the, on the workspace marketplace. We love to be transactable there. We, hire, we, 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 we acquire a thousand customers a month, so we need, to, if we can make that self-service also with Google, 
So I would say there's big, there's a very massive investment in supporting partners. There's a roadmap, and I'm really excited to see what's coming next because <laughs> we, we need we need that. You know, Marco, I'm really um, happy for your success uh, and, and business success. A simple product, simple idea. Yes. Um, there was great value, and you know, it's one of those things where stay focused and then it expands. So yep. you know, I can see this expanding. Uh, congratulations, Thank and you. it's been a nice journey. What have you learned uh, in this uh, process uh, as you've gone out and seen the success? Uh, as a seed gets planted and then all of a sudden movement's growing, a lot of action happening, a lot of success, what's next? So ne next for us, uh, we do have a, a very a big time uh, we should go after. So Google alone, 10 million paying customers uh, on our space. My ambition is to serve as many as I can and get them to see the value of email, amplified email. From there, we can build. We definitely will inject AI, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, we need to make sure those customers yeah. fix the basics and work with us on awesome. getting them all right. Last 30 seconds we have left. Give the pitch to the audience. Why work with you? Um, what's the benefit of the product? Give the, give the quick pitch. Absolutely. So, Everybody, each of your employees are sending 40 emails a day. Those emails will be going, either you check or not the signature. Take advantage, take advantage, uh, advantage of, those, um, uh, of those emails. Work with us to make sure we amplify and make each email the best one you can. If you want to see more, uh, stop by 3 p.m. at booth 1642 and we'll do a demo and you can see this in action. Marco Costa, CEO of Exclaimer, here on theCUBE. Check it out, easy to install. Make you more productive, get that, get, leverage that email, and at the bottom, signature, I'm certainly changing my, thanks for coming on theCUBE, <laughs> really appreciate it. And I, I'm the admin of our, yeah, our Gmail account, so I can put, you subscribe yes. to our, my he's podcast. About to put a, he's about to put a new signature <laughs> on my, my account. Boy, I'm mean, going to have a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank Marco, you. Thank you. congratulations, you says. More CUBE coverage, day two kicking off, uh, getting going here. Wall to wall coverage, team coverage. I'm John Furrier, Rob Stretch, hey, Dustin Kirkland, Lisa Martin, the team writing at siliconangle.com. A lot of action happening, more coming after the short break. Stay with us.